Hello everybody and welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. We are here once again in our cursed state, ready to take on another boss, I think, today. I've put together a little party. I still need to trinket them up, but basically at the minute, I was trying to make the decision of whether to buy the skill upgrades or whether to go for the armor upgrades here. I'm not sure which is best, um, because... We can afford, if we do some trading, we can afford both of these, or we can afford this. I'm thinking skill is better, because that means we can deal more damage, so I'm, I think I'm going to go for that. Um, and then this we can sort of get to later on. Um, we're pretty close to getting one of them, but we'd need to get both. And then, yeah, because we've got two people at level 4 that we can start upgrading. But at least for now, we can get some um, hero skills to level 5. Um, oh, wait, can we not? I thought we could. Okay, well that was unnecessary, but there you go, it's done. <laughs> I thought we that this would let us upgrade to level 5, but I have to be here a resolve level 5 for that. It's just because level 3 is allowed the same skill level as level 4. So I, I don't know, I, I, I made assumptions that was incorrect, I guess. Either way, um, the, the party that I've put together here is full of vanilla heroes, actually. We've got... Um, Hestia, a Hellion up the front uh, with the Iron Swan and if it bleeds. We've got uh, Dismas with the ability to do the Duelist's Advance, um, which I think is obviously pretty nice. Um, we have uh, Koshkin here, who's going to be using Finish Him as well as Caltrops. And then we have our trusty healer Titania here, who's going to be helping out. And this is all to go ahead and fight the Hag. Um, level 3 mission to the Hag in the Wield. I think this is a pretty good group. You'll see we have a lot of diseases here, but honestly, most of them don't matter. The only one I can see being a problem is Dismas. Uh, but otherwise, we're looking pretty okay here. Um, and we're just going to play around with this group and see what we can do. Um, I think I'm going to move Dismas back a slot, actually. Um, just because if I do that, he can still hit from this location. Um, with Finish Him. And we if we use Duelist Advance, it won't put people out of position too much. So I'm pretty interested in this. Giant Slayer, I don't know if a boss counts as size 2 or if that is technically size 3. So we'll have to see how that goes. Um, we got eager to fight, but that's not a big problem here. And now, now it's just to trinket people up. So damage-wise, we've got 917. So we're going to want to give you the most damage here. Um, ooh, that's kind of interesting. We could go straight up 35% damage on Iron Swan. That's going to be the main skill that we want to use. So yeah, let's do that. We'll go with Iron Swan damage there. A little bit extra crit, tiny bit extra accuracy. Um, and then we can also go with the slightly higher crit and uh, higher damage there. Um, on Koshkin here, we can go double damage again. We'll go with the Legendary Bracer. Um, and we could go with... We've got a few different things that do damage, so sort of working out what would be best. Uh, da, 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 da. What should we go for here? We've got so many options now with our trinkets. It's, it's, it's really nice to have, honestly, but just makes things a little harder to sort of decide between. Um, I guess we'll just go with this. I, I want to use this Usurper at some point. It seems really interesting. Um, can imagine that being really fun to get a a hit of 444 damage every now and again. We're up to 10 to 20 there, 11 to 21, and 10 to 21, that's pretty good. Up with 11 crit chance there. Dismas, I believe we have a trinket for Dismas. Uh, yeah, scouting chance, which honestly isn't like amazing in the grand scheme of things because we mainly want to be dealing damage, but I think overall it's pretty good. Um, and he does have some good repurse damage there as well, so we can go with... Let's see, what else can we go with? I don't think we have anything that specifically buffs repurse. We could go with that, but that would be an insane amount of stress to bear there. Is the let me just check. Is the hag a human? Hag is human. So we could go with um extra damage against human, but that again would be a lot more stress. We need something that's not gonna add stress, really. Um so we could go with with this here, but that also adds stress. Okay, eh, the stress is gonna be problematic, but I'm I'm just gonna take it. It is what it is. Um, and we'll go with our heals here. Of course, we're going to go with the syringe and the medallion here. And I think we're in a pretty decent spot here. I think this is a pretty good group. Like I said, I'm a little worried about our stress overall, but I think with this group, we should be getting a reasonable amount of crits and keeping that in check. 
Uh, I'm hoping that he gets to go first with his quick reflexes and stuff uh, and brave. Quite a lot of extra speed there. Should be quite nice. Um, and hopefully we can get something good going on. We're popping into the wield here. So let's grab our provisions. Um, this is a level 2 mission. We should also actually check if we have a prevent nighttime ambush here as well. I think we do on... Um, yeah, we do. Good, good, good. Okay, so we'll take... Into the wield, we'll take 24 food. Um, we'll take... Four shovels. Four of those. Three of those. Two of those. Three of those. Two of those. And we will take 16 torches. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Before we jump in... Uh, actually, let's let's go on the embark and then we'll listen to the uh, spiel about the hag. And then we'll jump in for a few diary entries because we do have a few that have been prepared. Anyways, let's jump into this mission and see how we fare. A knowledge of horticulturalism and its role in various arcane practices impressed me greatly. My licentious impulse gave way to a genuine professional respect and together we began to plant, harvest and brew. Oh, Lord. But yeah, so here we have from Penn Simmons a, a conversation between the Bagman and Priest. So Bagman says, So I want an exorcism. Something is giving me strange visions and immersions and stuff. It's definitely a demon. Hmm. And you are sure these are some latent mem- Are you sure these aren't some latent memories awakening? No, I don't remember them. These aren't my memories. Well, you are- I mean, this is remembering. Well, anyways. Are these visions asking you to do horrible things? Are they causing harm? I mean, to me, yes, I'm being harmed. I'm fucking mourning some woman I don't know. Fucking Mel. She seems nice, and that doomed war that uh, I don't even know what war it's referring to. Must be some demonic conflict. Background removes his hood to wipe his eyes, and the priest's eyes go wide. The brand on your neck. Where did you get that? I don't know. Must have been before the hanging. Still hurts sometimes. Another scar I don't remember. That's the symbol of the Blade of Lights. It was the brand used on those for, um, those that fought against the Church of the Light, conquering the Rhinehurst. The Rhinehurst military elite became rebels and continued fighting until their execution. The means of execution was tied to rank. The leaders were beheaded out of the twisted form of respect. The regular soldiers faced to a firing squad. The special, most rebellious fighters, uh, war heroes of the Rhinehan, terrorists to the church, were hung, hung till dead. All were branded before execution, so the Lord of the Night knew where to send them. <laughs> cool sorry, father. I'm... I'm going to go. <laughs> Bagman spoke with sarcasm-laced words, but his eyes, the deep blue of the northern, um, northern men of Rhinehurst, held so much sorrow and pain that the priest had to look away. You may not remember it, but thank you for fighting for freedom and I'm sorry that I can't take the past from you. Well, if you can't help, I guess I'll keep fighting. The voice that spoke those words held no brightness of ignorance that Bagman usually carried. The impacted, uh, they impacted the priest like hammers of loss and despair. They dragged him down. They buried him into the memories of war, the memories of um, having to pick up a sword to fight the people he sworn to help. The memories of standing before the most brilliant men of the North and reading them their final rites before they were put to the blade. I am not innocent in this, and he knows. Bagman puts the hood back on. He ties the rope around his neck. This was not a tool to hide his face. He wears the hood and necklace of, uh, a necklace of his nation's fa fallen. He remembers. Wow, very interesting. We also have part one of the expedition from Navarre from last week. Um... An assassin tried to get Basilla the other night. Thankfully, I was there to stop it. I just so happened that while I was watching Vixen from, um, from the limb of a nearby tree, Basilla and Vixen were having a private conversation. The assailant tried to climb up to the second story window using some vines located on the side of the building. A toss of my spear plucked the man down the vines and took him promptly to Blaze and Rose. The assailant was uh, one of the local town folk. Though judging from his accent, he had to be near the curve. Brackish salt and the scent of old fish markets. Now I'm all hungry again, just thinking about it. No, focus. He spoke of a beautiful woman with an irresistible voice luring the men of, uh, of the town and offering them wishes um, for Basilla's head and book. Very intriguing. Let's jump in. See how we do. This is going to be a tricky one. We are level going into a level 3 mission on the wheel. There is going to be some tricky enemies in here. But we do have a bonus here. Um, which isn't actually of any help. But um, 
More to the point, okay, unfortunately, uh, we do have the artistic thing here, so he's gonna be doing that a lot. But luckily, we have a hell of a lot of damage between the, the guys in our group here. We should be able to do a hell of a lot of damage and take out most things pretty easily. Surprises are gonna be helpful. I'm hoping we keep getting more scouting as well. I'm loving this repost as well. I, I specifically bought him for the repost against the boss because I think that's going to be very, very helpful. I want to get a stun on you so you don't do your call to the wield. I really can't be asked with that right now. Um, ah, an unfortunate dodge there. I think you do have, uh, yeah, you have Gloomy. Um, you also have Superstitious as well, which unfortunately some of the things we have here aren't ideal, but they are what they are. You get a nice kill there. This guy does have stealth too. He's probably going to kick one of our guys in the face. Oh no, he scampers to start with, doesn't he? Okay, that's fine. He does increase his damage quite a lot, but that shouldn't be a problem for us. Okay, fighting his way to the, to the front. It's annoying, but this is why we set him up the way we have. It's actually not a particularly bad thing for him, really. There's our lash out. We come in with the repurst. Unfortunately, we didn't get it. And we did end up getting that there. We'll heal party, just fishing for crits. Lower some of that stress. And we go for a nice kill there for exactly 19 damage. Really nice. We are um, taking Dismas here. Um, and he does have the ability to grab uh, Antiquarian stuff. So we'll make sure to loot with him whenever we can. Uh, and get extra money and stuff where possible. It's going to be quite nice to do. Anyways, let's keep pushing forward. I kind of like this group, actually. We haven't really been bringing Dismas out so much. I mean, all of these guys haven't been out in a little while. So I feel it's about time. Oh, hell. We got a, a burned conscript here. Kind of rare. We also got the surprise again, which is really nice. Go for that repost once again, of course, of course. Take that thing out. Take that thing out. And this has been a, a nice and easy one. Be I love it when you can turn one just kill everything. It's so satisfying. Make sure everyone's rearranged. And we'll use our fair shovel here. We'll grab this if we can with you, my good little guy. Hey, we got one of those already. Uh, blood. Now, nah, we'll leave blood. We'll take that. And deed, I'm... Well, we'll get rid of the extra food. I'll take the deeds. That's quite a few deeds, so I want to take them where we can. Fight here. Got some people with prop. Obviously a little annoying. Yet again, another surprise. We're doing really well on that front right now. That's very, very nice to see. Um, I'm just going to keep you topped up. I don't want to uh, see you take too much harm there. We'll go for a finish on this guy if we can. He has prot as well, so... That gloomy's really going to be a problem. But that crit... That crit's pretty nice. That's going to get rid of some of that stress already. Look, Luckily, gloomy, it doesn't actually add that much stress. It's just annoying as all. There's that lovely repurse for the kill. And yet again with another repurse. Not a kill this time, but pretty good. Again, we take the blight, though. Ooh, wow, that's a big hit and some Blight. We'll be clearing that Blight off and getting a heal on him as soon as possible. Embrace the Dark, of course. Let's cure that off of us. Move us forward there. Give them no quarter. And... Ah, that's unfortunate. 14 heal, that's pretty lovely. The groping swipe's a little annoying. But unfortunately, the Blight is just going to hit Dismas every single time. We're just going to have to deal with that. Overall, it's not too bad, really, but it's a little annoying. And another crit on that uh, there with the plus 8 crit percent chance is really nice. We're hitting those quite often. And another Repurse coming in there for 15 damage this time. And yet again, as I said, he's going to get Blighted. It's just bound to happen. I'm going to try and eke out an extra heal here. Um, I think it's next turn, yeah. It's not a lot, but it's something. Gloomy's proccing so often right now. There we go, we get the kill. Lovely. Crests I'm not too bothered about right now. But a victory nonetheless. I'll get rid of that. And we want to be going this way because it's a little simpler for us. That extra uh, scouting chance is super, super nice early on here. Less traps hit is lovely. Do I want to grab this? Probably do. Let's let's get rid of the jades. Put a key on that bad boy. Opened it with the wrong goddamn person. Wealth My bad. Um, we'll go with that. The fool alike. I know I'm going to need anti-venom, but it's money. I can't help myself. 
bit of eating. Good, good. I like the antiquarian stuff. That's just basically to add an extra story element to the characters and also to to help us fund ourselves because with all these modded characters, we're, we're spending so much more on a week-to-week -week basis that things are just costing like crazy amounts. So it helps with that. See if we get another scout here. The scouting's just so likely with this setup we've got going on. Really nice. Obviously, we're not going to go for the Shambler right now. That would be a terrible idea. Finding the stuff is Good. The we're not getting much battles here either, which is nice. Got room battle, of course, but nothing crazy. And we haven't even had any dire enemies yet. Obviously, we've got one of these guys here, but we can take them out pretty quick. In fact, I think we can take them out turn one if we get lucky here. There we go. Beautiful. Them. Still go for that, and there's that crit heal we're looking for. Fishing for that, just to get uh, a bit more going with the um, the stress heals and stuff. It's quite nice. Repurf kills you, lovely. Doesn't even matter because that's a great thing. Unfortunately, every time groping swipe hits us, it's going to guaranteed hit us with a uh, blight, which is annoying. We get some more blight on us here. Blight and bleed, in fact. Not ideal. Not ideal. Impressive. We're hitting a lot of crits with him, though. I have to keep him topped up, though. 12 feels good, but not quite enough. Ah, bugger. Unfortunate miss there. Thank God for that dodge. Good, good. As victories mount... So too will resistance. Take that. Holy water there, lovely. Sorts us out stress wise for the most part. Fritz empty. Hunger check once again. Another scout, perhaps? Yes, baby. Okay. Yeah, let's let's uh, let's just go for the battle. I, I realize Dismas is at low HP now, but I think we should be okay. We probably won't get the surprise again. We'd be lucky if we did, but unfortunately it's a giant. But luckily he's slow, so we should be okay. Taking on some stress, but this is right before a camp, so I don't mind. There you go, he's already up to a more respectable level of HP. Try and take this guy out because he's going to blight the hell out of us. There you go, nice. Giant's going to be a problem. Because um, he does the confusion spores and all that sort of good stuff. we try and stun him, but I'm just going to go for the damage. Tree branch smack down. It's annoying, but it's actually not terrible as long as he hits the right people. Oh, and there's that 49 crit. I was hoping for a crit there, and we got it. Beautiful. Eldritch Pull's going to be slightly annoying here, but it did not succeed. That's a nice 14 heal there. We're getting some good heals going on. Try and go for that back line. Unfortunately, we did miss. Confusion Spores. I knew it was coming. We do get a repose though, and it was a dodge, so it didn't really affect us that much. We'll finish him off. We're going to take on some more stress here, but... Unfortunately, it's all on one person. We can do some stuff to get rid of that, though, so that's not too bad. Good, good. Unfortunately, we can't quite reach there. Good, 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 good. Okay, taken care of. And we will camp it up. We'll go for a full camp here. Um, and let's take a little look-see. So we want to, first of all, prevent Nighttime Ambush, of course. Then we want to go... Let's take a little look here. So self-crit plus 10 is really good. We'll, we'll take that. Self-accuracy and crit, I like that. And then I think the rest of them we just... Uh, try and release some stress. There you go. We'll go into another diary entry while we're here as well. Um, so we've, we've got part two of the diary entry we just read about Navarre. 
Blaze, myself, Orwell, and a fellow new to me, um, Helen, were sent on a mission of suppression. Or, if it comes down to it, culling. Blaze is once again acting as a leader with myself taking charge of both the forward and healing. Before we left the, I slid a note under Vixen's door. It read things about what was going on, uh, about the assassination attempt mostly. But I also invited them to have a formal chat out on the cliff overlooking the hamlet. I believe we may have a common goal of cutting through the courtyard. Very interesting. And then we have a, another diary entry. This one is again by Penn Simmons and this is for Renetta. Renetta in the dreaming. Boom stomp, boom stomp, boom. The pounding of the drums and stomping of feet echoing across the forest. Renetta sprints, spear in hand, leaping over the fallen logs and dashing through the thorny bushes. Why take the spear and not the staff, little Ren? She throws the spear through the air. It pierces through the beast, the woman, the child. It feels right in my hand. The staff never did. The stories are not mine, father. Ren rips it clean and tears... Uh, the tears could drown. She turns and... Turns and the forest is bodies in her wake, innocence in the way. Child, you harden your heart for war. I never wished for that. You should be dancing. Ren climbs the collector's robe, towering over the wilds. He smiles as the head of her, um, her father moves towards her, open maw, puppeted by the monster. They killed the dancer, so I killed them. Bodies for the collection. She didn't recognize the voice, but it was hers. A spear and a mild wild uh, appear, a mile wide appear above her, piercing the clouds coming for Ren. She is a kid climbing uh, trees. Renetta, the shield breaker, running her through. You need to let her let the hate leave you. Send it to the sun. No, father, the hate is all I have. The drums are quiet. Ren is alone, stabbing Ren with her father's spear, crushing her under the weight. She can't breathe. The shield breaker presses the spear in, and then all she sees is the snake bitten palm covering her eyes. She wakes in tears, gasping for air. Very intriguing. I'm really liking the diary entries we've got going on at the minute. Right, let's get into this boss fight, shall we? Let's see how this goes. Uh, 70, I mean 100, obviously, on the person that's most stressed. Yeah, let's see how this goes. I'm a little wary of obviously being thrown in the pot, but I think we can out-damage the pot. It does just under 10% damage per turn, so I think we should be okay. We got Repost going on. We got good backline damage. Go with that. We got the bleed. We got the speed debuff. We got the damage received. All good. Oh, that's, that's the worst person to go into the pot, honestly. I was really hoping to use their Repost pretty actively, but hey her. Stun is unlikely here, so I guess we just go for a heal that's pointless. That's not not ideal at all. I don't know whether to hit her out the pot or not. I'm not sure. I'd very, very much like to use that repost, but yeah, I think I'm going to have to, aren't I? But Iron Swan, though. Now, do Iron Swan here. Okay. Okay, we might be fine to just let, uh, let uh, Dismas sit in the pot here, you know? <laughs> It's unlikely to ever do uh, a stun, but it does damage at least. Yeah, we've got this kill in the bag here. We shouldn't need to uh, get get um, our body out the pot. You missed, you fool. Well, that was simple, wasn't it? <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Nice one. Um... That, yeah, that. Well, that was a nice and simple mission to start things off. I think we'll return to the Hamlet with our heads held pretty high after that. Wasn't expecting that to go quite as well as it did, but we did get a nice Thrall Trinket that I'm very much looking forward to using. Burnus Repurst, Bleed, and Damage. I very much like the idea behind that. And we got everyone up to level 3, and Titania is our first level 5, I think? Is she our first level 5? Titania might be our first level 5. Intriguing. Intriguing. A fresh Sort by level. A oh wait, I need to... A sanguine memory to me. Sort by level. She is indeed our first level 5. I wasn't expecting that. We've got a few others that are quite close. Very intriguing. Um, we'll quickly release our trinkets. We'll check what's in our shops here. 
Uh, trinket wise, nothing really approaches us here. Then in here we've got grave robber and bounty. Okay, bounty hunter we've already got, of course. Grave robber though. Do we have a grave robber? Do we have a grave robber? I don't think we do, you know. No, we don't. Okay, we'll be taking on a grave robber then. Definitely. The nice to see. Eye. And we'll do another mission because this has been a short one. We'll try and go for something point. small. Um, we need uh, a short mission, ideally. Short level 3. Crusader. Melee damage, armor piercing, stun skill chance, and on hit break repost. Interesting. Duchess. On monster kill, other heroes heal um, one or two points. Uh, restoration amount is tripled for the Crimson Cursed. Friendly skill, target allies transfer their restoration. Kind of interesting. I don't think we're quite ready for that. I want to get a few more level fours before we uh, go for that. Although that is a very interesting trinket. Um, we've got a medium mission here, which is extra damage. Uh, uh, medium mission here. Level 2. Yeah, let's do a medium level 2 into the uh, ruins with a few people that are close to getting level 4. So we'll take Renold for the extra um, holy damage. Unholy damage, should I say. We'll take um, Alice in the back. We'll take... Eh, Oliver's not a great one to take, to be honest. We'll take Bagman. I know I take Bagman quite a lot, but I quite like Bagman. And we'll take Gauze on here as our healer. Right, let's just check our trinket set up here. Um, see what we've got going on. Do we not have any Crusader-specific trinkets? Thought we did. Okay, so I know what I'm taking for one. 25% um, damage against Unholy. Virtue chance and uh, extra damage. And then we'll also take the... Um, Damage, uh, damage, crit, dodge, speed for stress. I'm good with that. Bagman, you can take the classic combo for extra damage. You can take the classic heal combo. And then you, you got motivational locked in. Very nice. You've also got brilliant. I forgot you had that. We've also got ruined survivor, which is quite nice too. Um... <laughs> Just give her an absolute shit ton of resolve XP. Plus 50%, plus 10%, plus 75%. It's all resolve, baby. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> it's kind of funny. Anyways, I think this is a decent uh, setup here uh, in terms of our grouping. Uh, let's just make sure we've got Holy Lance on here. Holy Lance can only be used from the back to the... Actually, no. Smite does extra unholy damage. I don't need to use Holy Lance here. That's fine. Uh, yeah, we'll keep it on, though, just in case. Ah, no, we'll go for the stun. We'll, we'll take that. Right. Okay. I think we're good with these guys. I um, think all is all is right here. We'll jump on in. The trinket I'm not particularly fussed about. This is just to do an extra mission and get people out there and leveled up a little bit. This is only a medium adventure, so we should check for um, Prevent Nighttime Ambush. There you go. We've got Prevent time, a Nighttime Ambush there. Good, good, good. We've got uh, Torch Burn there as well. Okay, decent stuff going on there. Nice. We'll take out 20, 20 food, three shovels, two of those, two of those, two of the, three of those. Yeah. You can get rid of two bandages, actually. Four of these. Four of them. And then torchlight. Take 14 torches. And I think this is good to go. This should be a pretty, pretty good group, I'd say. Um, we'll just embark on another one here and see what we can get done. And we'll jump into yet another diary entry. This is part three of Navar's by Gargoyle Guy. Tonight we bed down. Blaze and the others were a tad bit glum that we hadn't run into the shark with a bounty on its head. The one that killed that healer the other week. I hope it gets slayed, if only to clear the shock and sorrow from the eyes of the living. 
That way we can focus a bit more on the task at hand. Tonight I slept between Blaze and Helen. Blaze, as usual, smelt of that manly beard balm and sweat. Helen, though, smelt of blight water and leeches. I still enjoy having them around, as they cured a bleeding wound of mine that my crystal magic couldn't handle. Orwell is still shaped like a friend, in case you were going to uh, ask Sweet Diary. Maybe you'll get to meet them one day. You two would get along well. You're both good at listening after all, or at least existing nearby. And then, just a small bit here, part 4. This section is written hastily, as if the middle, as if in the middle of combat. Hehe, <laughs> a pretty mermaid and a silver fox. I, I get to have both. Just, uh, a, just got a tag... What, just got to drag up, just got to drag him under, sorry. And then the section was later ripped out. I kind of like that. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of personality, but yeah. I think Renault will do some crazy good damage here, honestly. I think he's going to absolutely decimate most things. We got 100% of room battles here, so this might be a slightly longer mission than our previous because we, we kind of have to explore everywhere. It'd be nice if we had scouting chance, but unfortunately we can't be so blessed. Unless we get it here. Nah, sadly not. But here's a room battle to start us off. And of course, pretty much everything in here is unholy, so we'll be doing some good damage there. I'll go with this straight off the bat. It'll give us some stress, but I don't mind. I was like, that could kill both if I get this right. Execute there. Didn't quite get the kill, but close enough. Ah, bloody extra stress, goddammit. And then course, why not? Twist of the knife. Does that bleed us? No, it doesn't. It tries to disease us. And bleed cure received chance. Interesting. Bit more stress coming out there from the bat. But again, not particularly problematic. Get rid of those bodies. Zealous accusation. A night bite. Luckily we dodged it. I love that enemy. It looks so gnarly. Huge damage there. I like that. And the combo. Smash. Lovely stuff off the bat there. And we'll eat this up. Plus one speed for a battle. Nice. Hey, we got a secret room. That's unexpected. Very unexpected indeed. And we also get a nice view of where the room battles are too. So we can be a little more, um, a little more accurate with our travel. Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. Beautiful stuff here. Beautiful stuff. Had a very, very easy set of people here for us. So Zealot is going to do 7 to 12 to both of these guys. Or we can pretty much guarantee a kill. Yeah, we we'll go for that. Activate Repost here. Shoot you. Easy kill. Yeah, these guys are doing a fantastic job of just taking these guys out pretty quick. And you went for the Repost, you fool. Bagman's Repost is so insane. There's no way anyone can survive that. There you go. As easy as it started, it ended. A trifling victory. But a victory nonetheless. Stuff good, stuff good, stuff. Shan't think we'll have too much issue here. We might not even need to camp, to be honest. With the amount of crits we'll be putting out, stress shouldn't be an issue. And the damage, enemies don't even have the chance to make attacks. Depends on the enemies we get, of course, but this is only a level 2 mission, so it is a little bit easier. We'll go for this there. Crit straight away. Lovely. Take a shot on you. And go for a swing. Oh, another dodge. Have we taken damage yet? <laughs> this is crazy. This is such a good set of people to go out with. Honestly, I think Bagman will have a lot to say about Renault. And driven into the mud. But I like that. Right. Get a key on that bad boy. We did get a head. Extra damage against Hunt Holy. 25 prop when attacked by Hunt Holy. Ooh, that's Ronald's head. That's lovely. Uh, we are going to have to get rid of some stuff. I'll get rid of that. That. I like that. That was very, very nice. 
Back under the key there. Yeah, Renault's head is, is a very good one. Um, I wouldn't say I've been sort of waiting for it, but it, it it's one that I've definitely been wanting. The light, the promise of safety. First battle with a gargoyle. Gargoyles have very low HP, but uh, slightly high proton. They can do some interesting attacks. Overall, though, we should be fine. Go for that again. Back to the pit. That killed the gargoyle outright. We keep our restoration going in case anyone gets hit. Oh, we got hit early by Twist of the Knife. I said that had we been hit yet, but we had. Nice kill. Echo locate. Is that distress? Yeah. And mark as well. The mark is kind of annoying, but when three things are marked, it's not that bad unless an enemy has a combo on mark. But not many do. They, honestly... Um, Alice here has got some really, really good damage going out. I like Alice a lot. Destroy them all. We can remove a negative quirk here. Uh, who who needs it? Kleptomaniac's annoying. Careless is a little annoying. Minus dodge there is a little annoying. Severe mood swings will try and get rid of that. That's really, really annoying. Love interest, unfortunately, not the ideal one. Wanted to get rid of Capricious, but eh. It is what it is. Luckily, now that we know where the room battles are, it's literally one straight path forward. We just keep walking forward and we, we make it. Who's our trap disarmer? Ooh, Bagman. I like the fact that, like, Bagman lived in the ruins, and so he's the one that knows how to disarm all the traps. Like, he spent weeks doing everything, like... Literally just avoiding and disarming all the traps to make sure he could live here. He had a specific reason sort of thing. I kind of like that. Also, by the way, we did get that thing last week, which was, um... Which was plus 50% loot. Have we noticed we're getting more loot? I think we are. Ooh, we got one of these well creatures. These things are annoying. It is unholy, though, so let's just hit it. Good damage. Hit it again. Yeah, it heals everything, but it also buffs them for prot as well, as you can see. Hopefully this guy doesn't observe us. We'll see if we can just kill him. Ah, oh, one damage off. Come on now. He might observe us here. You did get stealthed there. Isn't ideal. We can still get the accusation on you to help us out. Okay, nice. We're good. We're golden. We're golden. We just gotta wait for this guy's stealth to play out. Boom, bow. You are blighted, good sir. Our next three kills, party gets 20% damage versus marked. Buff target. It's kind of interesting. Yeah, I feel like we are getting more loot overall. At least promises success. Right. Last few rooms to do here. Not been a difficult day today for us, has it? That gives us some damage, right? Yes. Renault is fucking kicking ass right now. And it's really doing numbers. And that's our last fight just up here. We've got two fights and then we're, uh, then we're done. The way is lit. The this fight is, is easy as well. We require only the strength to follow it. I was going to say it's potentially some stress, but honestly I think we'll get everything killed beforehand. Bit, we, we literally haven't even really needed a healer throughout this. Good old execution. Run for the old gods. Oh no, three damage, whatever will I do? I tell you what, I'll crit you. Ah. <laughs> Still, it was good. Seize this momentum. Push Move on until the task tasks end. end. I think we will get to the task end. This has been a very speedy episode with very little to falter. Like, we've, we've done very well. My last fight, not that hard either. 
Especially with the surprise there. Take care of you. I love Alice. Alice is very, very strong as a backliner. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Ah, I was really hoping for a one-hit kill there. That would have been so satisfying. Bayonet jab, but no damage though. Ah, he gets another bayonet jab. Oh, no damage though. Yes. Huzzah. And there's the crit to end it off. Beautiful. As victories mount, so too will resistance. Blood with us, and then just before we go, we've got 11 stress there. We might as well heal off that stress. And there you go. A nice round up to this episode. More we did a good job rest. there, I think. Devils remanded to their abyss. And yeah, Alice almost got two levels from that. Ah, uh, lovely. Okay, let's see if we bring anyone else on this week and see if there's any trinkets to buy. Otherwise, I think we're looking pretty good. We've got um, a shield maiden, which I've not really looked into yet. I'll leave that there for now. You guys can decide if you want me to bring on a shield maiden or not. Either way, uh, let's check our trinkets real quick. Ooh, ooh, unique charm. Extra speed, so a small amount of crit, speed, accuracy, damage. Basically, it's just a small amount of everything. Uh, damage, if there's a... Um, Hmm. I'm going to buy that because we can use that in conjunction with Dismas. Um, we can use it with um, Viara. We can use it with our Grave Digger that we just brought on board, um, who already has a backstory, I think, and also our Falconer. Very nice. Either way, hope you guys did enjoy this episode. Definitely a good one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.